Welcome back. I'm Chris Sikora, and this is the Inventor 2021 Midterm Exam Review. Now remember, you're not to watch this video while you're taking the test. You're welcome to practice it as many times as you like in advance. I usually recommend at least three times where you actually can watch it, practice modeling it, and then give it a go. Let's begin. Now if you look here, this is the goal. You want to make a drawing, and actually we're going to use a different template. This one is actually a landscape. We're going to go with the portrait ANSI size. But essentially the drawing views will be the same. The bill of materials and any notes that are on here should pretty much be the same. So let's begin. We're going to start off by modeling the bottle here. And if you are wondering where this test is located, if you go to the vertanu1.com webpage, V-E-R-T-A-N-U-X-1.com, and you'll find the exams tab. You just click on exams. It's also in your training guide, somewhere in the middle of the book, you'll find it. But let's go ahead and proceed. The first thing we need to do is build this bottle. And then we're gonna build the cap separately. We're gonna put them into an assembly. We're gonna explode it. We're gonna go ahead and create a presentation file in doing that. Uh, and then we're gonna go ahead and start a drawing and finish off that drawing that you saw earlier. So you can see here the parameters are two inches in diameter, one and a half inch for the neck diameter. It's shelled on 100 thousandths. It has fillets in three sections here of 100 thousandths. And whenever you see TYP, that means if there's a fillet that's shown that doesn't actually have the dimension, that's the typical. You go with that. So two and a half inches high and a 0.5 neck. So we'll start off with a new part, standard eye part. Hit create. And start a sketch. And this one I would strongly recommend the XZ plane. And as new users, uh, what happens if you draw it on the front plane, which we've typically been doing for many of our exercises in this class, it'll, sh it'll show up sideways. The bottle will be laying down on the table per se, and you want it right side up. Otherwise, it's 20 points off. Test is worth a total of 300 points. For mistakes like that, fillets are improper sizes, modeling issues, all 20 points off. And the reason why it's so stringent is because I give you the video in advance that you could watch and practice. So uh, you lose points very quickly. But small little details like um, lines overlapping each other or something like that, um, or a view overlapping a little corner or something might only be five points. Uh, if you're missing uh, some sort of annotation, that could be uh, 10 points. So it's five, 10, and 20 points. Okay, let's select this plane here. Go to the circle tool and at the origin, click and drag out two inch circle. Go ahead and go to 3D model and extrude. And I'm gonna go through this very quickly as you can tell, because this is a review session. Two and a half inches for the height. Go ahead and click on the home button. Select this top base, go to sketch, go to circle and lock it in right there. The neck is going to be one and a half inches. Remember that because later on for the hole in the cap, it's going to be 1.5 as well. We're not going to put in clearances. Go to 3D model, extrude boss. This is 0.5 for the height. Now you want to fill it first and shell last. Just remember that. If you do it in the improper order and you don't realize it, when I get your drawing, I'll be able to see it, and it's 20 points off because it misses a fillet on the inside. So let's go to fill it first, set it to 0.1, and one, two, and three edges. Do not fill it this top edge. Hit OK. Now this next one, be very careful. When you go to shell, do not hit enter. Do not hit enter. Go to the shell command. First, select the top opening of the bottle, that face. Once you select that top, now you can hit OK. If you've already hit Enter too early, hit the Undo button right up here and redo the fill or the uh, the shell. OK, make sure you save this, and you can save this as bottle. Save. Now go to New, and we'll do another standard eye part, Create, and this is going to be the cap. 
go to Start Sketch. And again, I would recommend the XZ. This one isn't as crucial. Go to the circle. And this one is 1.9, so it steps down just by 100 thousandths of an inch. And then you go to 3D Model Extrude. This one is only 0.1 in height, so it's really thin. And here's the number one thing that people miss on this, the fillet. Don't forget to put the fillet. The fillet should be 0.1, and it's on this edge right here. Hit OK. Rotate to the underside, select this face, start a sketch. Draw the circle for the next diameter, which is 1.8. Now, this is where the best of my students make an error, and they go ahead and they draw on the 1.5 diameter hole. That hole doesn't go the same depth as this, so just be aware you have to add that later as a separate feature. Go to 3D Model, Extrude, and this should extrude 0.5. Now you could go ahead and put the hole in. Select this face, go to sketch. The diameter is the same as the neck. We're not putting in clearance, 1.5. Go to 3D model, extrude. And we want to flip that and not 0.5, it's actually 0.4. So it doesn't go as deep. And so if you rotate that. Now select this face here, start a sketch. At one of the quadrants, draw a circle on the second edge. Click and connect to this edge here. Now, if you want to dimension that, you might not need to if it's snapped to it, but let's see. Uh, it should be 0.1. Hit the green check. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead. We could rotate that a little bit. Go to 3D Model, Extrude Boss, select this segment. I usually like to select the bottom one too. It probably doesn't matter but flip it. Now it's going to go to cut, but we don't want it. We want the rib. So join is what you want to do. Click on join. And then also there's the um, to next. So then it goes to the top face. Go ahead and hit OK. Now here's where I have students who have been in my class and they've gotten up and they've left and they've never returned. They can't remember how to put patterns. So practice this. Now, while it's still selected, go to circular. The feature is already selected, so, well, we better select it again. Looks like it might have deselected it. Now the rotation axis, click on this button here, select this face, and you can see the default is six. There needs to be 50, hit enter. Now that's done. Let's go ahead and um, go back home and let's save that as the cap. If you come into class while taking this test, unprepared. If you've practiced it once, you will probably be able to finish it in time given, but barely. Practice it three times, you'll have it done in 15 to 20 minutes. So my recommendation, practice it three times because you can really knock it out fast. I've had students actually knock it out in five minutes, but they practice probably close to four or five times. So just be aware, the more you do it, the faster you're going to be at it. Okay, now we're going to go to New Assembly. I'm just going to go to the standard templates here. Hit create. And now we're going to, um, I'm sorry, hit place. And we have to go, I've been saving those right here in the same folder, I believe. Let's see. Nope. Apparently I wasn't paying attention where I was saving them. There it is. I was in the inventory 20. 21. The first one I would recommend grabbing is the bottle. Hit open. Just click to release it. You only want one copy. Hit escape. This is very important. Right click on it now on the bottle and don't forget to ground it. Otherwise it's going to float around. Now go to place and grab the cap. Hit open. Drag it right up there. Hit escape and let's mate this. So we're going to go to constraint. And we'll go here to mate. So the concentric face here to this concentric face here. Hit apply. Now I'm going to actually hit cancel after I hit apply and drag this up because this next one, you want to constrain this flat face here to this face at the top of the neck. Now zoom up if you make sure you get this face and hit OK. All right, let's go ahead and save this as med underscore bottle. 
Now we need to make the presentation file for the exploded view. Go to New, Standard IPN for presentation. Hit Create. Now it should, it's going to make us select that one. So we, uh, let's see, go out of here. There it is, Med Bottle. Hit Open. All right, go to Tweak Components. Click on the cap. Grab this vertical line here and drag it up. Make it two inches. Hit enter. Save it. And you can save it the same name. I sometimes like to put another, just so you don't accidentally grab the wrong one. I'll put a little P for presentation, even though the extension on the back says IPN, but not a bad idea. All right, now we could go to new standard eye drawing. And we'll go with the A landscape. I mean, yeah, let's just stick with the A size. Hit create. And now we have to select from the list. And the list isn't showing anything, which is kind of odd. I don't, I don't know why that's doing that lately, because the parts are actually up. But let's go and select the assembly. So we're looking for the med bot, not the med bot P, or the med bottle, not the med bottle P, just the regular one. Hit open. Hit OK, and hit OK. All right, now double click on this. Let's go to the front. And then you could rotate it. And from here, go to Hidden Lines and set it to a half scale. And Display Options, make sure Tangent Edge and Foreshortened is on. That helps make it look a little bit better. Oh, let's double click on this again turn off shaded there. There we go. Now we can grab the edge, drag it down there. Next, we're going to go ahead and go to projection, project that one up there and right click, create. You know, actually we wanted that, let's uh, hit undo. We actually want that at the bottom, sorry. Let's uh, click on this view, go to project, get the bottom and then right click, create. Now click on this view, go to section and find the midpoint right here. Go down a little bit below it, click, drag it through, give it, go a little bit above it, click. And then with the line chain, right click, continue, drag it over here to the right, click to release it. Now the detail view, click in this little region right here and click a second time and drag out your B and drop that right there. Make a little more space here. Now we need the presentation file. So let's go to base, hit OK. And it picked it for us, the bottle P. And we can hit OK. Let's drag that over there and look at it showing it in the explode state already. So we're in good shape. If you double click, um, if you want to set it to a different setting, you can. I'm actually going to turn on shaded. And let's see here, do we want anything else? That's about it. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and add some additional annotations. So go to Annotate and go to Center Mark. Select this edge and you got your Center Mark. Now, if we want, you could go with the Center Line too. Click on this edge here to that edge. We could have done up there. We didn't really need to do that one. But um, next, we want the bill of materials. Now, they call it the parts list here. So go to parts list. And if you just click here and find the med bottle IAM, the assembly, and hit OK, you can. Oh, you know what? It already has the parts list. Never mind. Hit escape. But that's how you bring in a parts list if it's not already there. So you can see right here is the parts list. So we're in good shape. No need to do that. Okay, that's actually a benefit. Now go to balloon. Now there's auto balloon and just regular balloon. I prefer just the regular balloon because there's only two parts. Click, right click, continue. Click on this one. Click, right click, continue. And now since we have all that space, we could actually spread this out make it look a little bit nicer. Put that one up there. 
All right, now let's put the uh, our name on it. Click right here and put your full name. And then just try and locate it to where it looks centered. Okay, and that is the test. Just uh, I, what I usually recommend doing is take one last look at the, the test, make sure you got all the views that are there. So we have the center mark, we have that view there, that one, this one, this one looks good, and the bill of materials. Okay, so what I want you to do with this is you're going to go to File, Export, and PDF, and just send it to me once you have it. Okay, and uh, make sure your name is on it, not my name. I've had students send that to me, and it looks like it's mine, actually. So just be careful. Make sure your name's on that. And that concludes the midterm exam. Remember, you can't watch it when you take the test.